Chay Shalom Shalom Kwam Yasa Allah Koho Loyimla Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Sai Bahasim Rakahakodash Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Sai to the best of their ability. This is Akhanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. They wanted to do a quick lesson on this guy, um, Net Netanyahu. You know, the, uh, the, uh, the elder in Chicago called him um, Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> and I, they actually, I, I was watching another live. They got his real name. I forgot what his real name is because this is not his name. Um, you know, a lot of those people, they be changing their names up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, because they're, they're overall, they're, you know, what you would call a European they're just so-called white people too, you know, they they claiming to be, you know, overall, we, we, you know, we'll keep it classy. I, but anyway, it says, um, Netanyahu, Netanyahu to address Congress on Wednesday, seeking to redirect American attention from Biden to the Middle East. So they're not getting that attention that they normally would get. And it hasn't been working for them well over the past couple of months anyway. You know, you got a lot of um, countries that have been, you know, backing away and telling them, hey, to cut that shit that they doing out over there in Gaza. They done destroyed that place. <laughs> they cut they cut it out. You know, you're not letting food through. You're not letting aid through. You done bombed all the hospitals. You done bombed all the schools. It's not a good look. Please stop. And they won't. Now they got some other shit going on, you know, on the other end, you know, with, you know, the Hathis, Yemen, uh, you know, um, Iran. And the scriptures talks about how the least of the flock would draw them out. So I want to play the little news clip right here. But people are not feeling this, man. Nobody want to show up for this guy even meeting here. You know, they, that, that, hey, they, they phasing, bro. They fa hey, look, this is how we, we know that we are in the end, man. The scriptures talks about, um, uh, uh, so like, how was it worded? Roughly paraphrasing. Pretty much the Gentiles have to run their course before the Lord comes. Roughly paraphrasing. And they're running their course, man. They're not going to pass over the border that the Lord has for them time period wise, man. They, they through. This shit is coming to an abrupt end. This is why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Hey, look, you are the true Hebrew Israelites. The Lord is spinning this place out of control on your behalf. He's breaking down your enemy for you. So you need to repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son, Yahweh, meaning He exists, and Yahweh Shai, meaning He's a Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And we we have to let you know over and over again: get away from White Jesus, man. White Jesus is a damn idol. That's idol worship. The Lord is not having it. The Lord is a jealous power. He's not having you, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you Israelites. That's what's got us in the trouble that we're in right now. That's what they had our asses flying full fledged into slavery, cause you, cause, cause as a people, you want to worship every, that you want to worship the damn um the creatures instead of the Creator, according to Romans um chapter one. But anyway, I want to play some of this because hey, they're not having it. Nobody wanted, you know, they, you know, he's coming here. Generally, he would have had all the attention anyway. But these people don't even want to show up for his meeting, for his meeting. So that lets you know how far. Um, um, they have fallen, and that lets you know how close we are to the Lord's coming. So anyway, let's play the, the news clip right here. This address is coming at such a tumultuous time in not just U.S. politics, but also Israeli politics. And as Benjamin Netanyahu faces challenges back home, this is a high stakes speech for him, given the fact that there are lawmakers who are going to be in this audience who have serious questions, serious doubts about Netanyahu's leadership right now. And that includes some Republicans. I was talking last night to Senator Joni Ernst. She serves on the Armed Services Committee. And she, she said she has to hear a very clear and concise message from Netanyahu today about the path forward in this war and how he is going to get hostages home. She said it is far beyond time for that to happen. So see, you got 80. I mean, you can kind of see it out of these, you know, these damn Democrats, though. But them the ones that's been supporting him all along, though, as far as Joe Biden anyway, you know. But it says 80 uh, Democrats. Are not showing up and six Senate Democrats 
oh house democrats and senate democrats so pretty much you know hey nobody wants to sit down with this guy man you know i guess with joe but i guess he, he he'll, he'll kick it with um kamala but she's not gonna even be there she's supposed to be meeting up with him the day after you think that this will be an important meeting where you know they kind of cancel a bunch of the little things you know type of deal and and meet up with this guy it used to be that way but they're not they they not dealing with this guy like that no more man hey his own countrymen want his ass gone and he's just keeping things you know i'm um, going as far as war wise just pretty much for his political career because this guy's through man they they don't they them israelis they want his ass out of there over there he's not popular in his own country he's not popular here you know and people are starting to look at you know um the the israelis with a you know with a different scope man with a different um, um mindset man they, they really starting to see like oh shit they used to get all manner of support you know um from from um all these countries really but we're going into the last days where the least of the flock should draw them out and these are the top edomites right here these amalekites man <laughs> they the type they the top tribe of the edomites well let's play some more Happen. But you are also going to see many Democrats not attending this speech today. There are more than 80 House Democrats who we know are going to be boycotting, six U.S. senators who are going to be boycotting, including Patty Murray, who is a top Democrat in leadership, who is not going to be attending this speech today. Overseeing it is going to be Senator Ben Cardin. He's going to be presiding. And I think that that just says a lot about this moment right now as Netanyahu who comes in to give this address. You know, there are some Democrats who are going to be having alternative programming. This is Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, who said in a statement, instead of attending Benjamin Netanyahu's address, I will attend a panel discussion led by the Center of American Progress and other organizations on the path to peace. This event will feature a Palestinian leader, a Jewish Israeli leader and a former IDF soldier, all of whom are de dedicated to finding a path toward peace and security. And I just want to remind people that this address is happening after the initial invitation went out from Speaker Mike Johnson. Obviously, it's going to be really interesting to see what House Republicans think of this speech. Meanwhile, last night on the Senate floor, a series of Democrats address the issues that they see happening and concerns that they have about Benjamin Netanyahu coming. This is independent Senator Bernie Sanders. It will be the first time in American history that a war criminal has been given that honor. Frankly, this invitation to Netanyahu is a disgrace and something that we will look back on with regret and earlier this year remember majority leader chuck schumer actually called on the israeli people to hold a new election and replace benjamin netanyahu okay and there you have it and now mind you um bernie sanders if i'm not mistaken he's a small hat he's an israeli i mean we're a jew supposedly jewish um chuck schumer if i'm not mistaken he's jewish so, you know, even his own people are, are you know, not backing him, man. You know, so this is a, this is a blow. But, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm going to keep it um, short and sweet. Matter of fact, let me get this one in Obadiah, though. And this man's kingdom is, is falling, man. We, hey, we almost out of here. That's a lucky, uh, Obadiah chapter 1. Well, it's only one chapter. Uh, Verse, let me see. Let me start from the top. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. That's their biblical nationality. They are not Hebrew Israelites. They are Hebrew Edomites. It says, we have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. See? These, they, they're, they're starting to become really greatly despised throughout the earth. Nobody is trying to deal with them like that no more, man. They used to, I'm talking about, man, come on, bro. We, hey, even, well, there's so many churches done failed over here in the Americas. You know, Zionism was real strong here, you know, but man, the Lord didn't even knocked off a lot of those churches, man. A lot of churches been closing. So the support that they've been getting, because, you know, a lot of these churches, if they, you know, if they, you know, had a somewhat in, of an honest pastor, 
you know, they would be taking um, collections, man, for Israel, man. You know, and not only was the government, you know, the U.S. government funding them, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these churches here in the Americas was sending money to Israel. I remember when I was in, um, you know, before I came into this truth, you know, uh, you know, being in Christianity, you know, going to them little mega churches. And, you know, they would, you know, they they, they have a collection for um, um for Israel, man. And that's throughout the Americas as far as these churches. Why? Because they feel as if they, those people are the holy people, which they're not. And that it's their job or their duty to help the holy people because they're feeling as if they're going to be blessed if they helping. You know, they, they they looking at the scriptures wrong. They really believe that those are the, 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 the original people, man. Those are Hebrew Edomites, not Hebrew Israelites. They come from Abraham, Isaac and Esau, not Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. You come from the 12 sons of Jacob. You are the children of Israel. You see? So, this this whole thing, man, of theirs, you know, the whole thing is falling, bro. And this is one of the main cues. These people right here, because they're the top tribe of the Edomites. And if they're falling, you know the rest of them got to be. Okay, so let's get um, Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7. It says, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. See? See, and this is what we're witnessing. We're witnessing the fall of our enemy. Our main enemy is, 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 is them. They're the top tribe of, of the Edomites, man. They're the ones that's pushing the music that we listen to in our neighborhoods. They're the ones that's pushing them gangster movies. They're the ones that you know what I'm saying. As you know, they 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 pretty much got us in. Hey, they, I mean, they got us, man. We are through as a people. They push all the bullshit on us. If you notice, if you if you got eyes or ears to hear, you know what I'm saying. You should see that these are these people have have you know they got. This is not just some random shit that's going on amongst the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in these neighborhoods, man. It's not by coincidence that you listen to some goddamn sexy red, man. Which has absolutely no fucking talent. It's like, you know, the, 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 the so-called guy rappers. They got a few of them. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, they give you Kendrick Lamar, some damn Drake, and whoever the hell else. You know, but man, all that shit is, is designed to keep you oppressed. Look at the videos. You can go on YouTube right now, man. You damn near watching um, soft porn, man. Ass cheeks out, tits out, you know, but brothers get to talking about the Bible. They want to give you strikes. Straight up. You can damn near go on YouTube right now and pretty much watch soft porn. They have it in shorts. They got it in videos. It's really, it's women just on there just, you know, <laughs> really just you can see it all. They showing it all. And, and YouTube is doing nothing about it. And generally, a lot of those crazy ass videos, those are our people, man. Those are our people. They set it up where, I mean, them just a part of the curses, though, as well. You know what I'm saying? The Lord set this up because of, of us being um, disobedient. But see, these people are about to fall, though. This is a beautiful thing right here. No, nobody wants to show up for them. And then when you're looking at the comment boards, you know, they like, hey, this motherfucker's a war criminal, man. Don't they have a, um, I think they, damn, didn't they put out, a, um, didn't they, uh, I think the unit, um, matter of fact, but you know they're not going to enforce it, but let me see here, I think they put out, um, what was our, an arrest warrant on this nigga, man, let me see, is there, let me just put in, is there an arrest warrant, because they got one out on a few guys, man, you know, they, President Putin, Let me see. They may. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they they actually. I think the UN. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, right here. And I and that right there says a lot too. A warrant for Net Netanyahu's arrest was requested, but no decision was made about whether to issue it. Now they ain't they ain't not about to go that far, you know. But just for them to just mention it. They're not about to go that far with that. You know what I'm saying? They're not about to. Now, if they if they could get the opportunity to um arrest Putin, oh yeah, they'll get that. They'll get his ass. That's for goddamn show. He he better not go to none of those. Well, he already know. He ain't visiting. He's he's only visiting BRICS countries. 
if he's going anywhere. He's not, you know what I'm saying, doing, he's not taking no chance of being out in, in, in the international airways. Because <laughs> they know that, um, um, hey, they, they, they will get this guy, man. And it's a, a few other guys, too. But this, this man right here, you already know, man. For them to say that you're a war criminal and you're the leader of Israel, so to speak, that says a lot about the fall of that place, man. That says a lot about the fall of the of the so-called white race in general, man. Because like I said again, they are the the top tribe of, of the Edomites, man. And any other time, they were prospering out of control. Now, they have a population of, I think they're, you know, like the major Orthodox Jews, the ones that don't want to go to war, the ones that are not drafted. They don't have no jobs. They just um, kick back and rely on a stipend. That pretty much America funds. So you got all these grown ass men sitting around talking about their religious studies, you know, getting over on the taxpayers dying. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they don't even, you know, now they over there um, protesting about not wanting to join the military. Then you got the citizens over there protesting about um, um this. They want his ass gone, but he's still in power. His um cabinet done left him, you know, so to speak. I think he done put together another cabinet. So, what's going on with these, these, you know, if y'all supposedly be the, the chosen people? If y'all the chosen people, y'all should be, matter of fact, if you was really the chosen people and, and the prophecy was fulfilled, um, you know, as far as Isaiah 60, then you wouldn't be having no problems at all. And you, I mean, come on, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be at war. Nobody would be hating you, you know, the Lord would be here. King David would be in play, you know, the 12 apostles will have their, their, their position in this thing. The 144,000 elect, 12,000 of each tribe of Israel will be in play, running and ruling the world with righteousness. <laughs> you see? The, the world will be at peace. There will be no more wars. But, of course, we know they're, they're not the people. This guy, he's about to come through. He's pretty much, you know, he's probably going to give a little bullshit speech if, he, if you catch him on camera. But behind the scenes, he's going to be he going to be making demands. Hey, y'all better do this. Better do that. Y'all better do this. Y'all better do that. Because they really the ones that, that runs America. They run the world. But it's just funny that no one wants to show up. You know, these people, they they, they, they like, nah, 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 nah. We gonna, and then you got protests going on. They just um they had the protest yesterday. I was watching that on the news yesterday and they was arresting a bunch of little kids look like. You know, and, and pretty much overall, those was um, a lot of those was uh, Israelis. Because they, they pretty much they don't want their face to be attached to the, the crimes that this guy's doing. And, and, and they're being. How can I say it? Um, you know, they're being pretty much. Ostracized in all these places that they live, because, you know, you know, you got these these Jewish people. They're all over the world. They just living in places and everywhere they are they're They're kind of catching a little flack because. People just looking at them like, okay, well, you're Jewish. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> look at the shit y'all doing over there in Gaza. You know? And they've been, they been getting down, man. When I, you see all them skinny-ass babies, them babies with malnutrition and them kids dying from um, starvation, the real famine that's going on over there. See, they're not showing all that on the news like that here. But if you watch some alternative news, you'll see it's not a, it's not a pretty sight. They bombing all these damn schools. They, I think they only got maybe one hospital left over there, two hospitals be, at best. They done bombed all the damn hospitals so the people can't get no, you know, no real aid. You know what I'm saying? Like, so shit that they can actually survive had they had medical treatment. You know, they just dying from it because they don't have no access to medical treatment. These motherfuckers done bombed everything over there. So now, again, he done turned... And he's fighting with, you know, he's bombing um, damn Yemen now. So he got, a, you know, a couple of wars going on on, on, on his back end, on his front end, his sides, you know. Mom. <laughs> and so America hasn't gotten involved to the extent of, but they're going to, they're going to, they're going to have to. Because the least of the flock going to draw them out. These damn Israelis going to draw everybody into that World War Three, man. America's not going to have no choice but to get involved. And you already know, you know, Kamala, you know, she's a, um, you know, she's in bed with a small hat. Her husband is a small hat. So she probably just saving face by not meeting up with him at that meeting today. But, you know, she's going to meet with him tomorrow, supposedly. So, you know, we, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, 
these people are greatly despised. Nobody is feeling them, and 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 it's about time for their reign to uh, end, man. And and and, it's, and and that's how we know that they're gonna come down with that great wrath. Scripture says that you know because they know that they have but a short time, they're gonna come down with great wrath, man. So we'll see how it play out. I just wanted to just touch on this for a high sec. Hey, the fall of our enemy is in play. So all praises to you. How about Shimei was shy because we have been praying curses on this place, man. You should be cursing this place on a day to day basis in your prayer. Day to day basis, you know, because since um, the Apostle Gabar done that video saying to do it, to pray for the downfall of this place, a lot of shit done been happening and we can see it, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all, the Bible ball.